Raptor fans, the moment that we have been waiting for for quite some time. The Raptors are going to be opening up their round three matchup, the Eastern Conference Finals matchup against the Milwaukee Bucks tomorrow night, 8.30 tip-off in Milwaukee. Before we start talking about my expectations for this series, what I do know for sure is that Milwaukee is a damn good team. And they are an incredible team in many aspects of the game. They're a very good defending team. They have Giannis. They have a lot of perimeter shooting around Giannis. They are a very good ball club. And for the Raptors, like I said to you guys in that uh, in the Game 7 uh, video, I said, enjoy that Game 7 victory. And I think every single person in Toronto or as a Raptor fan in general has enjoyed that shot from Kawhi Leonard many, many times over the past few days. However, now that that moment is, I'm not saying it's done because it's not going to be done for many, many, many years. The Raptors sh uh, focus shifts to the Milwaukee Bucks. And game one, like I said, guys, goes in Milwaukee tomorrow night at 8.30. Milwaukee is arguably the best team in the NBA on paper. They, they had the best record in the regular season in the NBA. They have lost one game in the playoffs so far, and that was uh, game one, actually, of their Eastern Conference semifinals matchup against the Boston Celtics. But then after that loss, they win four straight and knock out the Celts. And then around one, they clean the clock of the Detroit Pistons. Even, I mean, Blake Griffin was injured, but it shouldn't really mean anything. They did it anyways. They're 8-1 and one in the playoffs so far. The Raptors just came off a hard-fought playoff series where they threw everything but the kitchen sink at the Philadelphia 76 and heck the kitchen sink might have even been thrown at them I don't even know at this point so for the Bucks they're rested for the Raptors maybe not rested but there is a lot of adrenaline going on with the Raptors now look I don't know what to expect you know I I, I mean look this Raptor team I have faith in Kawhi but the supporting cast has been very inconsistent this playoffs you know, I've seen a few games where Pascal Siakam has gone off and we're like, man, this is the guy we know and love. Like game one against Philly where he had 29. But then you've seen games where he just hasn't done a whole lot, right? I mean, ideally he's probably still dealing with a little bit of an injury. But again, at this point in the year, everyone's dealing with so something. Heck, every game Kyle Lowry's popping his thumb back into place. That ain't normal, people. Now, I would come into this, this video and say, look, you find a way to shut down or contain Giannis, you win this series. To be honest, I don't think it's that easy. Now, obviously, it's not easy to shut down or contain Giannis because he's the Greek freak for a damn reason. He's the MVP this season for the for the NBA, and there's no question about that. People go, oh, James Harden. Yeah, when you're taking 30 shots a night and you're shooting 40%, but you get 35 a night, that doesn't mean anything. Giannis is the best player in the NBA right now. MVP-wise, he, uh, he's my guy. But they have so many other guys that can hurt you. Eric Blezzo, Malcolm Brogdon. No one talks about Malcolm Brogdon. But if you guys listen to the podcast, I am worried about this guy. The reason being, yes, he's not averaging 20 in a night. and He's not that guy who's averaging over 20 points a game. But he's averaging through throughout the seat the regular season. He's averaging 15.6 points a game, 3.2 assists, four and a half rebounds, and that's not the numbers that I'm worried about. It's the 50% shooting from the field, 42% from three, and almost 93% from the free throw line. If I'm not mistaken, all of those numbers are above average. Malcolm Brogdon is damn good. Uh, where else we got here? George Hill has been in the pain in the Raptors for many uh, in the years past. Chris Middleton is a fantastic player. We don't all know about Giannis. Miritic. Come on, Nikola Miritic with the Bulls. He's done a lot of great things against the Toronto Raptors in, in, in the past. And Brooke Lopez has found a way to shoot a three. And I think with, uh, with Marcus Gasol on him, that might be an all right matchup. But nonetheless, they have a lot of guys that can beat you. 
So for the Toronto Raptors, they got to get back to what they were doing in the regular season. I know it's easier said than done, obviously, and you're facing a damn good basketball team. But the Raptors only won one game against Milwaukee this year. And if I'm not mistaken, that game was in Milwaukee, and they played a terrific basketball game, but even then you still barely won that game. I don't know what to expect. Kawhi has to be Kawhi on a night-to-night basis. The Raptors need Kyle Lowry to at least score double figures and give you 5-5 five and five as well. You know, Marcus saul has got to be a presence defensively, and he also has to shoot the ball a little bit. Pascal Siakam has to be the most improved player that we've all grown to love throughout this season. There's no doubt about it. He has to be the that he has to be that guy in the series. Abaka has to be good off the bench. Fred Van Vliet, look, this is probably a better matchup for him than facing Philly. So he needs to be a, he needs to have an impact. Norm Powell has to have an impact. Bottom line, the bench needs to do their th- their thing, and all of the starters do need to do what they're expected to do. And Danny Green obviously needs to shoot the three. Um, you know, he had two points in game seven against Philly. He can't do that against the Bucks. The Raptors have to shoot the three well, or else they might be in big trouble in this series. Now, ideally, you know, if you're looking at competition-wise, look, the Celtics haven't been a great team this year, and they clearly weren't in that series against Milwaukee. I'm not taking anything away from the box. They're a damn good team, and they clean the clock of the, of the Boston Celtics. And then they face a really bad Detroit team, you know, even with their best player, who's basically playing injured the entire series. So, yeah, they clean the clock of them. But for the Raptors, you played Orlando, who coming into that playoff run had won five straight. They were the hottest team in the NBA. And the Raptors did win that in five games. Then they play Philly, who is probably the second hottest team going into the playoffs. And they're a damn good basketball team. Look, Joel Embiid, Jimmy Butler, Tobias Harris, all three guys were averaging around 20 points a night. And then you throw in J.J. Redick, who's a spot out three. The Raptors did beat them. Now... Both teams are very different. One was a 60-win team. And the Milwaukee Bucks, you know, you look at you look at Philly and you look at the way the, the home and away schedules work. Um, Milwaukee, you know, at home was 33-8. and eight. That's incredible. The Rapp- Rappers at home are 32-9. and nine, Very similar. On the road, they're 27-14. and 14. We're 26-15. and 15. Again, very similar records. I don't know what to expect this series. Now, I know people are going to say Bucks in five and, and, and Bucks in six. Maybe six sounds a little bit more respectable. I don't know what to expect with this Raptor team. You know? When it came to um, Orlando, the Raptors had players, and we, we, we knew we were going to beat Orlando just a matter of when and how many games. Against Philly, it was finding a way to contain Joel Embiid. Plus, the guy wasn't feeling well, and Marcus Gasol played great, great defense, and it led to a series victory. You are now going to be playing the MVP of the NBA in Giannis Tedekumpo, and basically nobody in the NBA can guard this guy. So what's going to happen now? Because then, and the problem is, you force everybody to, get, to go to Giannis. You, you put you double Giannis. You're leaving a guy who shoots 40% from three in Malcolm Brogdon or a great Eric Blezzo or Chris Middleton wide open. And that could be a problem. This rapper team has to be at their best from minute one to minute 48 in game one of this series. Now, look, game one doesn't really tell the tale about really anything. Rappers lost game one of their playoffs against Orlando. They won the, the next four games. You know, I mean, and you clearly the series against Philly was all over the place. And that really wasn't, uh, there was like, like I said, in that last video, there was no really momentum at all in that series. You win, you lost, you win, win, you lost, lost. I mean, it was like all over the place kind of thing. Now for the Raptors, we got to take this game by game. Okay. So what is our thought process right away? We don't have home court. So you want to try and take that home court away from Milwaukee early on in the series. What that means is you have to win either game one or game two and come home with the split. You do that, you're in a great spot, 
You, you, you took away their home court. Now you have your two games at home. Now, not saying those two games are going to be cakewalks because they're not. Like I already talked about their 27-14 and 14 road record. That's pretty damn good. And two of those wins were in Toronto. So like I said, guys, the Raptors have to be at their best. And you have to find a way. I mean, it's not going to be easy. I don't know if it'll happen. But you have to find a way to contain Giannis. And I think for the Bucks' standpoint, they're thinking the same damn thing towards Kawhi Leonard. They contain Kawhi. They will win the series. Because if you go from the supporting cast of Milwaukee to the supporting cast of Toronto, other than Pascal Siakam, consistency what do the Raptors have? We've seen great things from Lowry. We've also seen some not so great things from Lowry. You've seen Marcus Gasol's shot kind of go all over the place. You see Danny Green knock down five threes in one game and then knock down one or two in the next and shoot like tw- 20%, not look good. And then a bu- the bench, is, I don't know what to think of the bench. They have to be good. It sounds like right now that Malcolm Brogdon, obviously coming back from the injury, we don't know what he's going to look like. Is he going to come in? The, is he going to be in the starting rotation? If not, that guy's coming off the bench. What guy on Philly came off the bench and you're like, oh go, oh no, I'm worried about this guy. Maybe James Ennis. But the only reason we were worried about that is because he ha- actually had a pretty good series. Guys, I don't know what to expect. I really don't. And Buck, the Bucks have an amazing basketball team over there. But I will say this, to keep Raptor fans level-headed a little bit here. The Raptors did lose the regular season series three games to one against Milwaukee. The Milwaukee Bucks, oh my goodness, Vladdy hit another home run. He's got two home runs today, and I just missed it. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm quite angry now. Um, excuse me, guys. But, um... The Bucks have an amazing basketball team, and they and they and they won three out of the four games against Toronto this year, and they were a sixty win team, and they've cleaned the clock of the first two teams they faced. Now we can sit here and say, well, because of those facts, and they're rested, and the Raptors are not, Milwaukee's going to crush them. I don't know if I believe that. The reason I say that is because this is playoff basketball. And we have seen from the Toronto Raptors that they don't dwell on a loss. They really don't. Game one against Philly, they crush them. Game two, no offense and you lose. Game three, you get obliterated again. Game four, you have no momentum. You, you, you could be going down, going down 3-1 in the series. And you come up with a big game in game four. Tie the series. Come home. Crush them. And win game five. Then you get blown out in game six. And then a tight game. But you win on the crazy shot by Kawhi in game seven. Like I said, no momentum at all in that series. You lose game one here. It's not the end of the world. However, if you're the Raptors, you'd love to take away that home court just like that. All right? So, guys, game one goes tomorrow night. 8.30 tip-off in Milwaukee. Game one of the Eastern Conference Finals. Between the Raptors and Bucks. Now, guys, you know what? I have no hatred toward the Milwaukee Bucks. You know why? Because they're a good team. And you don't hear all the blabbering from people about the Bucks. You heard it from Philly. You hear it about Boston. You hear it about Golden State. But you don't hear it about Milwaukee. And I love that. I love that they're a 60-win team. They have an amazing regular season. They just crush two teams in the playoffs. And you still don't hear much about them. This series is going to be fun. It's going to be hard. It's going to be a grind. But it's going to be fun. All right? So you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. If you guys, are, if you guys enjoyed the video and you guys are jacked up for Game 1 of the Eastern Conference Final Matchup against the Bucks there tomorrow night, smack that like button and appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already. Comment down below your thoughts on the game, your thoughts on uh, the video, what are your expectations for the series, what do the Raptors need to do to win this series? You guys let me know in the comments below. I've already said my spiel. I'm going to hear your guys' thoughts on um, you know that whole spiel and what, what you think the Raptors will be doing there tomorrow night in Game 1 in Milwaukee. All right? So, guys, uh, Evan and I will talk to you guys podcast edition. It's going to be Thursday afternoon. Link is in the description for the podcast channel and for the podcast itself on iTunes. Twitter is also down below. Follow up. Send me a DM. Do all that great stuff. 
And I'll talk to you guys. A Blue Jays edition a little bit later on tonight uh, with the three-run shot from Vladdy. He's got four RBIs in the game. He's got a couple dingers. He's three for three with a walk as well. Have a day, Vladdy. We'll talk about that a little bit later on tonight if I'm still awake. I'm, I probably will be. And uh, for the Toronto Raptors, guys, here we go. It is the it is the kind of the time we've been thinking about for quite some time, Raptor fans. We saw the playoff bracket for what it was. We knew Orlando, the Raptors would beat Orlando. We had a good feeling the Raptors would beat Philly. But then when we got to the Eastern Conference Finals, we saw Milwaukee and we're like, I don't know. Well, we're about to see what unfolds in Game 1 of the Eastern Conference Finals matchup between the Milwaukee Bucks and Toronto Raptors. 8.30 tip-off in Milwaukee, Game 1. I'm jacked up. You guys jacked up. Kawhi's jacked up. The Raptors better be jacked up because they got to come to play in Game 1. Like I said, 8.30 there in Milwaukee for Game 1 of that series there. I'm jacked. You guys are too. So thank you guys so much for listening and watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you guys on. Uh, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow night.